And this year marks the 40th anniversary of the 1982 World's Fair when our so-called scruffy city welcomed people from all over the globe to celebrate their culture, technology, and foods. Much of that included music. Local music journalist Wayne Bledsoe has recently written a piece on the music of the World's Fair for Visit Knoxville as part of their anniversary special. And we talked to him about the talent that helped make history here. Well, the thing with Visit Knoxville, they're nice enough to ask me to write the music piece every year for the Visitor's Guide. And this is the 40th anniversary of the 1982 World's Fair. So they asked me to do a piece on the music of the World's Fair and finding out everything. I mean, I was, I went to the World's Fair. I was working at the paper and running film and saw a bunch of the acts there. But, you know, even I didn't realize how many great acts performed there. Um, Men at Work had their American debut at the Australian Pavilion, which was news to me. But, uh, I mean, you had everything. So I put, I wrote a story for them. There's a really long one that'll come out later online. The short one is with, it's in the visitor's guide, which is available now. I put together as comprehensive a list as I could of all the performers who play there. And I mean, it's astounding. I mean, you know, like from classical, Leotone Price and uh, you know, Isaac Stern and you know, gosh, all sorts of people there. And then you had Dolly Parton perform, Loretta Lynn, and then some local people who were kind of local. I mean, I love Dave Loggins. Dave Loggins played there. I saw him that night. Tracy Nelson, who did a song called Down So Low that was terrific. And, uh, you know, there were, gosh, uh, Victor Borga, who was, uh, you know, a huge comic musician back then. And uh, it's amazing. And I put, I put together a Spotify list for him with 50 of those artists. And it's a pretty amazing listen. Ricky Skaggs, who was at the time just becoming one of country music's biggest stars. And uh, you know, Carlos Montoya, a great classical guitar player. And then we brought back Richard Trifall, who was a Knoxvillian, who was uh, really influential in early avant-garde music and had become a teacher at the University of Rome and had released a beautiful album that was kind of early kind of new age-ish kind of stuff and uh, that his track on the spotify list that i made is maybe my favorite it's beautiful and he does he's one of those people who didn't get enough appreciation and i'm glad he was at the fair and then sparky rucker and um gosh howard armstrong and ted bogan came back they were the tennessee chocolate drops not all the artists performed at the fair some people came to visit the fair and were spotted there. Somebody posted that they saw the B-52s just coming to hang out. And uh, then people would stop in at like little bars and things in Knoxville because they were visiting the fair and sometimes they would sit in. 